commanders, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and also ring that notification bell, to get notified on my latest videos. As always, let's get started shall we? Всегда готов. Let's do this. Put this. Ansa Faust. Ищу противника. Welcome, commanders, to today's unit review. Today, we are going to review on one of the most effective grenadiers in the Osphere faction. The Assault Grenadiers. That's right, grenadiers designed to assault the enemy head-on. These merciless grenadiers destroy enemy infantry along its path with STG-44s, much like the Knights Cross is using in the Wormatched faction. But that's not all, it has a panzer force designed to destroy enemy tanks in combat. Don't worry, these grenadiers respond fast to any sort of situation they encounter. And now, let's get on with the review shall we? First thing we should take in considering is its armament. Its primary armament is the STG-44, a powerful assault rifle predecessing the MP-40, which is a submachine gun. Damage to infantry at level 9 is 84, which is tremendous for a unit incomparable to that of the Knight's Cross. Damage to tanks is 11, since it is a tank. To vehicles is 30, which is decent. And for buildings is 26. Though not alert, it has a fast fire at for its assault rifle 0.25 seconds is much faster than the Wormatched Stormtrooper's MP40. Damage per second is alert for this thing to put on. The range for these assault rifles is 6, which is much higher than most rifles and submachine guns the allies had. A grenadier is in danger if it encounters a tank or vehicle, so it is equipped with none other than the Panzer Faust. At level 9, damage to tanks is 1327, which is not bad for itself. Damage to vehicles is 1286 which is fairly decent as vehicles especially are vulnerable to it. And to buildings is 525, not that huge, but definitely it will do its job just fine. It cannot damage infantry, since it is only used in anti-tank slash vehicle operations, including buildings. Reload for the Panzer Faust is 4.5 seconds, which is fair for itself as a supporting role for tanks. Range is 11, which is quite fair when encountering tanks. Now, for its hit points. It has a total of 1022 hit points at level 9 which is huge for a unit, considering that it has similar hit points to infantry epic units like Chilton and Makarov. Unit count for these grenadiers is 2, which makes them especially deadly. Speed is normal, so it can keep up with fast moving tanks or vehicles. And since it is a elite unit, it can be spawned on all roads. And now for the deck that you're going to use. I think the Armadox is the best for the assault grenadier. The only passive effect it has for infantry units is the minus 30% damage from all enemy units when near friendly tanks, which is an advantage when supporting it. Active skills include mobile infantry support, which is good for more firepower, and cannon bad to shock enemy vehicles or tanks. And that's it for today's unit review. Make sure to join my discord, and follow me on twitter in the description. As always, I will see you next time. Commanders. Like, comment, and subscribe to the video.